Good morning everyone, good day, good evening. Uh, we are, it's half 11 now in the morning, I had a little bit, little bit of a late one. I wasn't going to go out, I was hoping to go out on the float tube but it's still so cold here. Uh, we had frost last night again, we have about 4 degrees, 5 degrees at the moment. It's 5 in the water. So I'm just leaving the float tube in the garage for the time being. I decided to come out on the boat, take the boat out for a few hours. I wanted to try a few of the new flies. Uh, I've been working on this kind of wounded pattern bait fish. It's a kind of flat tie. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the first result. I'm just after landing a fish there. Uh, still a little bit of blood. <laughs> on it uh, so yeah this, it's swimming properly I'm fairly happy I'm not happy the way it's sitting uh, I need to change the, the weight a little bit and uh, change the position of that big eye because that big eye act as a weight as well so I'm going to tweak that at home but uh, it's working because I'm just after catching a fish so we are fishing fairly shallow here we are uh, what do we have uh, we have two and a half meters, three meters deep here. It's a huge weed bed. Um, pike have spawned in some places, others they haven't. Uh, this one was just a nice jack that I caught. Uh, nice fat jack. So we'll have to see if we have any, any female lurking in that area. I know it's a good place. They like to come and in and out in that big, big bay. So we're going to keep on plugging. And uh, we have a lovely flight here. Not bad. Oh, I'm seeing some pike moving in the shallows. So it looks like they are spawning here. Like I leave them. I'm not going to fish right in the weed beds where they are spawning. I leave them. Here in Ireland, we, we are still allowed to fish all year round for pike. So extra care is needed when, when they're spawning. You want to have a really quick fight really bully them to the net, use the net, stick them in the net right away, let them rest if they're big hens, especially if they have eggs, you don't want to bring them into the boat uh, if they have eggs, leave them in the net, take a picture overboard, leave them in the water and let them go. What I'm looking for is female that are spawned out because usually when they're finished spawning, they go back out into the lake and they grab whatever they can eat on the way. So usually anything that swims by, jack pike, roach, bream. There's a fair amount of bait fish here too. I have quite a few grebes fishing. So we're going to see if we can nail another one. I'm going to keep that fly because I got a fish on, so if it works for one, hopefully it will work for another one. If they are really coming in and out of spawn, I might try the, the jack fly, the big jack pike imitation. Yeah, there's movement in the shallows. There is movement in the shallows today. I'm drifting a little bit with the wind and uh, I'm trying to get as much cover as I can in as fast as I can uh, because weedy, nice weedy bays like this where pike can come in and, and spawn at this time of the year. We literally have hundreds of them in this system. So some of them are really good. They are loaded with fish at the moment. Others, there is no fish or very little. So you don't want to just come here with your picnic and decide to spend the whole day to fish this bay because it could be a big mistake. So what I'm doing, I'm basically casting, moving 10 meters, 10, 20 meters, casting, moving, casting, moving, and so on. So 
like that I can find, I'm get, I, get, I get myself um, a decent idea of the amount of fish and uh, if the fish are feeding in the area or not. So we've been fishing from about that hill over there all along. We got two fish, they were two good eats. Um, another good thing that I'm happy is that I've seen quite a few fish moving right behind the wire here along the field. So these are fish that are spawning or that are getting ready to spawn. No sign of a big fish yet. Um, these two jacks, they didn't look to be too much touched. That one had a bite, but it was an old bite. It must have been last winter or the year before. Uh, it's not a fresh bite from this year, so he hasn't been munched. There you go again over there. There's another fish after moving. So there is fish here. And we move again. We got a one nice hit here. We are seven and a half meters of water. I was reading this guy. I had that fly super slow. He's skipping low, so I'm hoping it's a good fish. Come on, line. Play with me. Ah, it's not bad. It's not huge, but it's the best fish we had today. It's just lipped hooked. Put in the net. We got a fish, a better fish. So as you can see, they are still sitting deep in open water I, I changed spots because I was getting like way too many small fish uh, so I decided to go another spot that I know where the water is a little bit deeper and I know there's good fish here usually that like to hang around this hole and uh, didn't disappoint I'm just here a few minutes and we have the first fish not a monster, but a nice healthy, healthy jack on that new fly, that new wound, wounded bait fish. Uh, still needs some work, but happy about that fish. That's good. Delighted. This is number number seven. Uh, I had three missed, but only small fish. Like this is a nice healthy. Uh, healthy fish good take come on i'm gonna let you back out come on buddy that water is freezing yes come on buddy good fish lovely colors good belly sitting over deep water feeds like the same stamp of fish yeah about the same Oh my god, this is gonna do my head in. Sorry guys. Oh. 
Nice fish. This one has an old injury on the jaw. It's missing the lip. But a good fish all the same. All right, buddy, you're still hunting. That's good. Yeah, it's missing total. A side jaw. But it's still feeding. Goodbye. All right, this is doing good. Like two cast, two fish here. I need to change my tripod. This one is total crap. All right, to conclude, good day. Happy enough. I wasn't supposed to go out today. I, well, I didn't think I was going to go out, um, but uh, kicked myself in the backside and got out and that was a good decision. I had uh, eight pikes so far. Nothing big, but uh, plenty of action. Uh, good, decent fish. Chunky fish, well conditioned, jacked. Uh, very happy with the, this prototype of, <laughs> of a wounded bait fish. It's been absolutely mangled today. Uh, I have yet to get it to ride hook up. That hook is a fairly heavy, so even with the dumbbell eyes, it's, um, it's riding hook down. But it hasn't stopped the catching fish today. Uh, I, in fact, I only use this fly the whole day. I'm going to have to go back to draw the drawing board if I want to have it riding hook up. Um, I think I'm going to have a change of um, um, the weight, the dumbbell. I think I'm going to have to place them differently. Uh, but uh, as a hook down, I mean, fantastic profile and um, the fish didn't seem to mind at all today. Caught them all on that fly. So I probably will do um, a live stream with this one. Uh, I'd like to find uh, the way to, to weight it properly for the hook to ride up upwards all the time. But at the moment it's riding down. But uh, fantastic uh, action. Um, all the fish came on that today. So it's a success in my book. For first time usually you tie a fly and you're really not happy uh, but this time yeah i'm fairly fairly satisfied with the with the end result and uh, yeah thanks for joining me again guys uh, if i don't see you on the water i'll see you on the live stream or in one of the videos thank you again and uh, see you next time